Zone 3 Podcast. I am at the Fuji booth, RSNA 2022, and they have some really cool technology. So what are you guys doing? Like, what's, what's going on in this booth? Because it's huge. All kinds of stuff. <laughs> so, the and cool... I'm sorry, and you're yeah. John? Sean. Sean Elbridge. I'll answer to anything. <laughs> so, this system right here is our Oasis Velocity. It's a vertical field 1.2 Tesla imager system. It has the kinds of capabilities you want to see in a 1.5T imager, but it's in the open kind of an architecture. So the whole idea behind this, the driving idea behind this is that I can provide a very patient, accommodating kind of an experience, but I can also deliver the kind of image quality you want to see. That, that's the premise of the system. Right. And some of the, the things which contribute to that are the ability of this to have accelerated imaging capability. So, oh, you know, nice. if, as you, our guys are MRI propeller heads, you know that <laughs> the big thing today is all of these techniques that are used to reduce the scan time, but kind of maintain the image quality. For sure. Well, one of the cool features of the system is something we call IP Rapid. Worst, worst product name ever, but IP Rapid <laughs> is the uh, feature which allows you to cut way back on how much K space you're collecting, but then still get a great image in the end. Oh, There's nice. a reconstruction algorithm that's used to build back in the signal to noise ratio that you typically lose, or at least we used to use right. uh, when you did accelerated imaging. So like you can turn down the NSA, you can increase the acceleration and get scan times that are just really tremendous. And this, wow. again, this is in the kind of an ideal patient experience kind of a configuration it's with huge. the open-sided aspect of it. So, Is there any way you can kind of give me a ride on this thing? Is it functioning? Sure, sure, sure. So oh, awesome. what we're seeing here are the some of the RF coils that are deployed on the system. This is uh, the spine coil. Mm -hmm. It can be left on the table when I'm doing any kind of an Im imaging. And then you've got the head coil here with the, the different attachments that I can use depending on what, what I'm actually uh, targeting for my particular scan, right? And they're kind of designed so that you have like a open uh, face and you're, you know, to, to right. reduce that closed in feeling as much as possible. For sure. And this, this bad boy here, right? is our flexible blanket type coil, I like right? that, yeah. So I can use this for body imaging. When I combine it with the spine coil, I can do some great body imaging, but I can also use it for like doing long bone imaging or hip oh, imaging nice. or shoulder imaging for larger patients. So the kind of the bottom line is really wide table here. The, the other thing is too, is that I can put you in here for like your wrist and I, I, can, I can keep your wrist comfortably at your side Right? Still be ISO center, huh? Yeah, yeah, because the, the table moves left and right. Oh, oh so, you got to show us that. So I can. We'll put you in there, and then I can move you left and right. Like, say, if I was doing your right wrist, right? Right. I can move you to an extreme position there, send you in. I can put that wrist of yours at isocenter so I get great fat sat. I get great, great image quality. But you don't have to have your arm over your head in some kind of contorted Superman position, right? That's really cool. And that's a great thing. That is amazing. So that's kind of the idea of that. <laughs> So how many coils do you guys actually have that come with this system that's available? So you also have a shoulder coil. You have an additional body coil. You can take two of these coils and string them together so that we can get oh, a, yeah. uh, a full coverage. For sure. And uh, you have a wrist coil over there. And there's oh, nice. also this, what's called a general purpose or a loop type coil. And okay. you know, can just imagine if you have a child that Maybe we, for whatever reason, we don't want to put them in the head coil. You can put a child's head in here yeah. or, or you, oh, like if you're that. really nervous about things. For sure. And then you have almost, it's just, it's almost like not having anything on you at all, but right. you still get great image quality. And that has to do with the, the way the vertical field interacts with the, the loop of the coil. You get, wow. you get great signal to noise, even with this single channel type coil. I like that. I don't think I've seen a design like that either. Okay, so well, really it's neat. kind of a classic, actually. Oh, is it? <laughs> <laughs> so, and uh, the same sort of principle is in all of the, the coils that we have to rely on that loop and how it interacts well with that vertical field. Is there a spine uh, the coil spine built coil in, built right? in right there. Oh, perfect. How many it's channels overall can it 16 kind of handle? channel system. 16, 16 channel, channel system. system, right. Wow. Yep. Man. 
This is amazing. Sean, this is great. All right. We're loving Fuji. We love what they're offering. We okay. love just how the field is moving forward. Oh yep. my gosh. If, if anybody's been watching what's been going on, they know that there's constantly forward pushing technology every year at RSNA, and you guys are definitely we're doing right it. There. We can't actually wait till the reveal at 11 o'clock, so yep. we're looking forward to that, so stay tuned. But Sean, thank you for your time. All right. It's Reggie, Zone 3 All Podcast. Right, we are out. All right. RSNA, and this time we can see everybody's pretty faces with those smiles. <laughs> so great. One of the things that's important about this meeting is the theme that's picked out by the nice folks from RSNA. This year the theme is empowering patients and partners in care. That's a, that's a powerful thing to talk about. We, as a technical company, as a company that supplies equipment to the radiological imaging community, we're going to take that to heart. We're taking that to heart. And the question is out there, what can a industry, the technical industry, do to empower patients and partners in care? Uh, the folks that are sick that got to get scanned, the folks that have to operate the equipment that scans, the people that have to interpret the images that come off of the scanners. What can Fujifilm do in, in that realm? So one of the things that Fujifilm has paid a lot of attention to is trying to take advantage of something that is very scarce for all of us. And Michael, what is that scarce resource? It would be time. Time. Uh, you know, we can find more diamonds. I, I, I can make more diamonds. I can't personally, but more diamonds can be made. We can find more gold, can't we? Lots of things, lots of resources can be, can be found. But the one thing you can't get more of is time. You can do more with time, perhaps, and that's kind of the key right now. Thinking about time right now and the pressures that everybody's under. All of us as individuals are challenged by having enough time, right? But think about providers of care right now, what they're struggling with. Uh, after the pandemic, we've got patient volumes building back up to what they were pre-pandemic. But now you've got staffing challenges. Think about the imaging centers that are trying to decide whether to go to three shifts or not. And these kinds of things. How, how about the radiologist is interpreting tens, dozens of studies every day, maybe a hundred studies a day. What can science and engineering do in companies like Fujifilm to help address that for our partners in care? What can we do? Well, something happened in the 20th century. Michael, what was the most important thing that affected life in the 20th century? I kind of think maybe the, the Big Mac, but no. The answer would be uh, electricity. Yep, yep, yep. Yes, it's electricity. That's right. Think about electricity and how that changed everybody's life in the 20th century, right? Think about how your great-grandparents lived, or your great-great-grandparents lived, for some of you newbies. The point is, is they lived in a world that was lit only by fire. Sometimes people say that kind of a thing. It's just what a world we live in now relative to what was not, not too long ago, a completely different completely different space. So electricity profoundly changed life. A gentleman named Andrew Eng, I always worry that I'm pronouncing his name correctly. Andrew Eng, I think in 2017, called artificial intelligence the new electricity. And wow, what a what a apt and profound kind of a metaphor for AI. Think about how that's changing your life right now. Everything from your you do web searches 
to spell check with your word processor. Everything you're doing in life is affected by AI right now. Our, our cars eventually will be driven by AI. And these things are, are good things. They're, they're doing great things for the human condition. It's not replacing us so much, is it? It's not replacing us. It's just allowing us to be the best that we can be. And that's a fantastic thing. And it seems like that in that, in that realm of what AI can do is this idea of saving, saving time, making the most of the time that we have. Well, for the second year in a row, Fujifilm is going to show off its commitment in many ways to AI. We have a, we have a initiative we call Riley. You'll see it mentioned throughout the booth. And it talks, it, it speaks to the commitment of the company to AI's contributions that it can make across the spectrum in terms of that patient and provider partnership that we have. Things like being able to detect gauze that was left behind in surgery via AI. And also, last year, we introduced a product that was AI driven in the Oasis Velocity system over there. We have a CT system that has an iterative reconstruction delivers low-dose scanning, again, enhancing that patient experience and the provider experience. But for the second year in a row, Fujifilm is going to introduce an all-new, brand-new MRI system, and I'm very proud to be able to talk about today the Echelon Synergy 1.5T MRI. Yeah, it's a beautiful thing. Synergy, Synergy. So, Synergy is a, is a term that gets used quite a bit, it gets tossed around quite a bit, but it's super apt for this product because there's, you think about what Synergy is all about, right? You got two things coming together that deliver a, a whole that's greater than the sum of its parts, right? And Synergy really typifies that. You've got two, two channels coming together inside of Synergy to, to take advantage of that time, right? To make things easier for the operator, make things better for the person reading the images and to make things better for the patient as well. Two things coming together. From the standpoint of enhancing the operator experience, we've got features like one-touch scanning where the patient oh, yeah. can lay down on this nice wide table, very wide table, very comfortable table. The patient lays down on there. I can move the patient into the gantry with just a touch of a button, never having to actuate the lasers. No laser light positioning necessary for a brain scan. The system, once the patient's inside, and by the way, after the, after the technologist touches the button and moves that in, the technologist can walk out of the room, shut the door, and the scan proceeds automatically without another touch on the console. The system will, after the patient moves in automatically, will find the optimum place to put that patient to get the best possible results for the scan. And by the way, the slices inside of that scan were laid down by the AI-developed automatic slice positioning feature we provide on the platform as well. Great for the patient and the operator also is this one touch, one movement, kind of a head coil as well. Also, the nice blanket type coils behind my friend right here that are used make very comfortable for the patient, very easy for the operator to use. All of those things contribute to the patient experience and the operator experience. Now, couple that all with the other channel. That was the channel for the patient, the channel for the provider. There's another channel as well, and that has to do with what I can do with scan time. Scan time on this product, because we have deployed a deep learning, Synergy deep learning reconstruction algorithm we're able to take previous generation 1.5T scan times and cut them in half, cut them in half. That is stupefying, that is stunning to somebody that's been involved in MRI for a long time. Those of you that are MRI propeller heads, you know that there's always been a trade-off between scan time and image quality. It's brutal, it's brutal. I used to have to, if I wanted to get a, a fast scan, I could reduce the NSA and bam, there goes 40% of my signal to noise ratio. Or if I wanted to use parallel imaging, which got launched 10, 10 or plus years ago to such great fanfare. It was a great thing, but what was the problem with parallel imaging? It reduced the signal-to-noise ratio with acceleration. Mm. 
Mm. Well, with Synergy Deep Learning Reconstruction, the operator can now dial in protocol parameters that look like 50% of what they were for the previous generation, 1.5T. NSA divided by two. Acceleration factors of two and higher without having a compromise on image quality. Or maybe I want to spend the coin differently, right? I could also maybe boost the resolution, the in-plane resolution, and keep the scan time constant or cut it back a little bit. Those kinds of things didn't used to be possible. That was kind of a dream. So all of the old assumptions about scan time versus image quality are now obsolete. And Synergy Deep Learning Reconstruction delivers on that promise in our Synergy MR system. So I'd like to really give a shout out to the Fujifilm engineers in Japan and the United States to deliver such a wonderful product. This FDA pending product right now is also supported by the USA-based clinical science team, many of whom are here that you can talk to and uh, look at the images. I invite you now to come up and take a look at the system. Some of our experts, demonstrators, will show you all those wonderful features and take a look at the beautiful images that we can show when we collect the for the system. I really thank you for your attention. Have a great day. Woo!